first time walking all by himself in a store. And he's got shoes on for the first time, so we don't know how it's gonna go. We went shopping and I used up all the rest of my pregnancy mom energy for the day Like I'm literally like sitting here like oh my god, we have to vlog We have to vlog. Yeah, that's me right now super sleepy, but um Maybe Ezra's in the back sleeping. I don't know yet. Um, he might throw up. He is a chronic throw upper So um, yeah, so anyways, let's just talk about this the vlog <laughs> So as you guys saw we just went shopping for Matt That's why you saw a lot of men's clothing and we also let Ezra play at the playground Which was just the most heartwarming thing. Oh my god, that thing. was the best thing ever. Oh my god That was his first time ever like running around a little playground with kids like he was just so So happy and so cute, but we had to get Matt an outfit because hold on guys the Nigel Barker. The Nigel Barker from America's Next Top Model personally reached out to me on Instagram and invited me to a fashion show that's going to be going on where eight different fashion artists are showcasing their work and me and Matt are going to go so we had to get cocktail attire, which I honestly like, you know, I've heard of it before, but like then when we were like, what do you wear for cocktail attire, right? <laughs> it's my like, first event too, so I'm like, wait, I don't even know what to wear, period. You know? I know, so we kind of went with like this cute summary vibe. We'll show you the outfits when we get home. But we're on our way home right now. Matt's actually gonna get a haircut. And then tomorrow we go to the event, so we're gonna bring you guys along with us when we get into the event. We have not updated you guys since yesterday when we were talking in the car and Matt wasn't able to record at his hair appointment. So I'm just skipping to the next day. We are on our way to the event. Obviously the house is a mess. We've got grandma here watching Ezra and we are about to leave right now. Bay, say hi, you gotta get dressed. Uh, I gotta get dressed, sorry. I'm so excited for the event. I hope this is like cocktail attire. I don't know. I'm gonna wear my hair down. I'm just like, I'm out of breath. When am I not out of breath? Like I can't do things right. But um, I'm gonna record again in the car, so I'll see you guys. Seems that Ezra did pretty well with us leaving, which is good because I hate to see him cry. But I also forgot to mention that this dress is from Revolve. I am so excited to wear this outfit tonight. Hopefully I get some really good pictures. I feel like I did my makeup really good, which is rare. I feel like when I do like too much makeup normally or I like focus on my makeup too much, it comes out terrible. But I feel like I look okay. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the nose contour because I'm also starting to get pregnancy nose, which is like the worst thing ever to me because I grew up hating my nose, got used to it, and then all of a sudden during pregnancy it like just blows up in your face so yeah not too happy about that but I'm really excited for this event to just get out a little cocktail party you know how it goes baby's moving a little right oh my god I forget I'm pregnant I never even show you guys what the heck she's so cute in this dress especially okay okay revolve you guys have to check it out I'll have a link down below for revolve was so beautiful amazing i hope you guys got to see how gorgeous everything was just by all of the scenic videos that we took all the art all the people all the dresses and everything oh gosh, was nigel so cool. himself like the 
Nigel Baca. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk to him for a little bit, so it yeah, was super cool. Yeah, it was cool. super cool, and they're just doing a whole bunch of things in Chicago mm -hmm. around art, fashion, sports, like having all these cool events, so right. it was super awesome to be invited to that. Tomorrow we have a big day at the pool, so we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow, and we love you guys. We're going to sleep right now because, yeah, oh my out. god, oh parents my god. out. 10.30, Ezra, we're out. He's sleeping, but I want to show you guys, but like, he, um, it's dark in there, but um, on the sound machine. Let's go. Okay, come on. swimming and everything i just wanted to like fix up my makeup a little bit talk to you guys about how my pregnancy's been going and everything like that so as you guys know um i don't really post as frequently as i would like to just because being pregnant is very tiring on a woman it is uh overwhelming to say the least or my experience has been um, and I've just been kind of going through a lot of pain these last few weeks, including just like not being able to walk. I'm really not supposed to be picking Ezra up, but I'm a parent. Like I kind of like have to, I don't really understand how they can just tell me, no, you can't pick up your child anymore. So obviously pregnancy has been a lot on my mind, me being pregnant, hearing about all of the news about abortion right now. I feel like this is a topic big for a lot of women right now and we should discuss it. This is the month that the Supreme Court is finally going to announce their decision on Roe versus Wade. Some things to think about is how this could affect IUDs and fertility plannings um, in some states. Having these restricted laws for women who won't have the rights to do what they want with their body will obviously lead to a lot of unhealthy, um, unsafe, ways that women will try to do this. It's extremely sad what's going on right now and I hate that women have to have other people tell them what they should and shouldn't do with their bodies. So it's just something to think about. Obviously it stresses me out a lot being pregnant and knowing that obviously I am having my baby but in the case that there's a lot of cases where I don't believe that you should be told you can't do something. So it's just something to think about and to look into because we really want to be cautious of what's going to happen once this goes down and I'm just hoping for the best and trying to keep people aware of the situation that is going on. But um, before this gets a little too sad, <laughs> We are going to head to the pool. I just really wanted to talk about this. It's something super close to my heart. And, you know, I love that I am a woman with a choice and I hope that doesn't change. We have a place for you. Do you like the music? I just see this. <laughs> we can't even have like decorations on our, on our things anymore. It's okay, you can grab anything what? you want. Where are you? Whoa! <laughs> so are you ready to go to the pool? Yeah! Are you ready to go to the pool? Yeah! Say, mama! Me. Me. <laughs> okay. That's right. Look, it's the pool. Boy, my hey, <laughs> so 
we'll stay out here at 10 a little bit and then time to go home, right? All right, perfect.